Hello and welcome to RISDA Middle School's Back to School Night for the 2021-22 school year. My name is Craig Cooper. I'm the principal here at RISDA Middle School. Thank you for joining us tonight. I wanted to first introduce several staff and just let you know some names and grade levels they are attached to. So in our counseling department, we have Ms. Kellogg working with sixth graders, Ms. Lee Walder working with seventh graders, and Ms. Simpson Berger working with our eighth graders. And then with our administrative team, we have two assistant principals and our Dean of Students. Mr. Braun is our Dean of Students working with seventh graders. Ms. Kelly is our assistant principal working with sixth graders. And Dr. Love is our other assistant principal working with eighth graders. We also have a school nurse. Her name is Lindsay Ono, and she is new to RISDEN this year. And then we also have our PTA president, Amy Gambala. And Amy wanted me to share out to everyone, our first PTA meeting will be on September 23rd at 7 p.m. We hope you can join us. There'll be more information about that shared through the RISDEN Middle School PTA Facebook page, which is a great resource that you should check out on Facebook. In terms of your student's class schedule, every day starts with a bell at 7.50 in the morning to let students know when it's time to head to class. And then we have approximately 55 minutes to, to hour long classes throughout the day. Students have lunch during the day based on their fourth period class. And again, this is the schedule for Monday through Thursday. Here we have the schedule for Fridays. And with our late start Fridays, the bell rings later in the day at 9.20 a.m. And then class starts at 9.25 and we proceed on accordingly. One thing we are doing differently this year is you'll notice this flip or rotation of fourth period and third period. We did that so that we keep all of our lunches lined up for fourth period on Fridays. I wanted to mention a couple things about our grading process and for those coming from elementary this is probably a familiar concept but we use a standards-based grading and reporting system. The goal is to present accurate communication about progress towards specific standards. And so your students' grades are sectioned out based on standards and um, power standards that teachers are aiming for within each trimester. Uh, the report cards are also intended to communicate about soft skills, which are things like community skills and effort. The overall academic scores have four levels. So a level four grade is exceeding standard. Uh, a three represents meeting standard. A two would be approaching standard. And a one would be well below standard. There can also be 0.5s used between the various scores on this scale. Again, in terms of the major categories, we have the academic grade. And again, you can see some of the assessments and things that the academic grade should be tied to. And then we have an effort score, which ties in with the completion of homework and classwork, what kind of effort the student is showing toward the class. And then we also have the community skills category, which is where we talk about students accepting responsibility, showing active listening skills, showing respect to their peers and public property, and so on. Uh, there is a parent's standards-based grading handbook available through the district website that you are welcome to check out. I wanted to just mention for parents with middle school students, it's a couple, there's a couple important things to note as your student is going through the journey of middle school. I encourage you to consistently check on your student as far as their grades and attendance just to make sure things are plugging along as you would hope and expect. And then I also would invite you to be involved and join our PTA. You can attend meetings. You can connect with other parents. You can also volunteer and chaperone at other events throughout the year. We would love to have some more volunteers for our lunch supervision program. So there's things to check out with our PTA that can help you connect with other families. I also encourage you to know your students' friends, to just monitor, uh, monitor and supervise, um, to monitor some of the communication that goes on, make sure you're talking with other families as your student is connecting with other friends throughout this time. And then also encouraging students to be involved. It's important to encourage your student to be involved, uh, to help them have uh, extracurricular activities outside of the school day. They can get involved in clubs here at RISDEN. We have our athletic programs. We also have student government. With ASB, they can be involved in that. And then lastly on this slide, a couple challenges, just things to uh, anticipate as a parent. It's important to let students make mistakes, to understand that that's natural and part of life, um, that this time of life is a period of intense growth, uh, both physically and socially, emotionally. And so students are going through a lot. If you remember the time of middle school, it can be a challenging time sometimes. 
Um, so just thinking about and determining when to get involved as a parent. Um, I did hear a good piece of advice years ago about being available but invisible. Um, and so just something to, to kind of be there when your student needs you, but to also let them try things and let them learn and make mistakes along the way. As far as some of our after school programs, we do have a drama program that is run by Mr. Ball and he has shared out and we'll continue to share out more information about that. We have our ASB program that is run by Mr. Willis, and um, he will have students involved in putting on various events and things throughout the year. And then we also have after-school clubs, and a lot of a lot of more a lot of information will be coming out about those soon. So feel free to listen for the bulletin announcements. Um, you can encourage your student to listen, or also check out our bulletin online for that information. As far as tonight goes, uh, what you should get out of back to school night are the best ways to communicate with your students' teachers. You should hear some information about the class content and curriculum. Um, it's not really a time to get into specific details about your specific student. If you do need to make, uh, if you do need to get into that conversation, you'll want to make a follow-up contact appointment as needed. And as far as the logistics for tonight, you want to be sure that your student has their schedule handy so that you can navigate to their teacher's Canvas pages. Uh, teachers are posting their Zoom links. I've also shared out the master document for accessing the Zoom links for tonight. Each teacher has their own Zoom link for the evening. You'll want to follow your student's schedule through all of the class periods, one through six. Each class period has 15 minutes, and so there's not going to be a passing time you'll just want to switch from one Zoom link to the next when you're ready. After you have finished one class, you'll move on to the next one. Here are the uh, times for tonight's class periods. And again, you're watching this video right now, which is great that you're here with us tonight. Um, so between 6 and 6.30, you're taking in this video. That's great. At 6.30, we will start our class periods, and they will run, as you can see, every 15 minutes. So they will run until 8 p.m., and then we will all... Uh, retire for the evening. All right, we wish you well and thank you for joining us tonight. Um, if you do have any specific questions, again, for your teachers or for your students' teachers, please reach out directly to the teacher. You can also complete the form below if you have questions for any of your students' teachers that you want to send to us and we can funnel that to the appropriate teacher. Um, one way to type in this form, if you want to pause the video right now, you can then type down this link. I will also email out this link uh, when I send out information to families about tonight's event. Thank you so much, and thanks again for joining us tonight. Hello, everyone. My name is Michael Braun, Dean of Students, and a little bit about myself. Uh, first of all, my pronouns I go for are he and el. I grew up in a small town called Homewood, Illinois, and moved to Chicago in 2010. So uh, Chicago is famous for Michael Jordan and Barack Obama. A little bit about myself is I got married in 2020 in Chicago, Illinois, and that my wife is from Santiago, Chile, down in South America. Two things I love are outside of Risen Middle School are trekking and cycling. Um, I've done the cycling route from Seattle to Portland, and I've also gone from Seattle to Vancouver, Canada. Also, uh, I've done lots of uh, trekking and traveled all around the world. Uh, one of my favorite spots was uh, a picture taken from Machu Picchu. Some of my responsibilities as Dean of Students includes a uh, seventh grade department. I also um, support student attendance investigations, discipl discipline, as well as restorative practices and the PBIS program. So if you have any questions about myself or any questions at RISDEN, you are, feel free to reach out to me and my contact information is listed on this slide. Also wanted to let you know that we are here to foster the curious, capable, courageous, and compassionate minds of your students. Go Risden Wolfpack. Ow! Hi, I'm Maggie Kellogg, sixth grade counselor. We're going to provide general information on several ways to support your student for success. Asking for support is always encouraged. This is a big year as we return to in-person learning. 
It has been a long remote journey and we are thrilled to have everyone social distancing together again. Please do reach out to your grade level counselor for any reason at all. We are here to support staff, students, and families. We have outside resources and interventions to offer. A few examples are counseling services, financial hardship resources, and setting up parent-teacher conferences. Please know that you can give your grade level counselor a call or send an email and ask for what you need and we'll help you problem solve. We value a strong united front partnership between school and home. My name is Andrea Lee Walder and I'm the seventh grade counselor. Sleep, nutrition, and a quiet study place can all contribute to a student's academic success. Students show My name is Andrea Lee Walder and I'm the seventh grade counselor. Sleep, nutrition, and a quiet place to study can all contribute to your student's academic success. Studies show that students at the middle school level need approximately 10 hours a night of sleep. It can help to achieve this by turning off and removing any device with a lighted screen such as cell phones, electronic games, and computers at least one hour before bedtime. This is recommended because the light from the screens can cause sleep problems that will keep your student awake. Nutrition is also an important part of your student's success. They need to have the ability to focus and learn throughout the school day. If your student does not have time to eat breakfast before they leave home, please know that this year students receive free breakfast and lunch throughout the, throughout the entire school year because of a federal grant. We encourage all of our students to utilize this option when necessary. It is also, my name is Andrea Lee Walder and I'm the seventh grade counselor. Sleep, nutrition, and a quiet study. My name is Andrea Lee Walder and I'm the seventh grade counselor. Sleep, nutrition, and a quiet study My name is Andrea Lee Walder and I'm the seventh grade counselor. Sleep, nutrition, and a quiet place to study all contribute to a student's academic success. Studies show that students at the middle school level need approximately 10 hours of sleep a night. It can help to achieve this by turning off and removing any device with a lighted screen, such as cell phones, electronic games, and any computers, at least one hour before bedtime. This is recommended because the light from the screens can cause sleep problems that will keep your child awake. Nutrition is also an important part of your student's success, so they will have the ability to focus and learn throughout the school day. If your student does not have time to eat at home, know that this year all of the students receive free breakfast and lunch through a federal grant. We encourage all of our students to utilize this option when necessary. It is important to create a quiet space in the home that is distraction free for your student to complete homework and review classwork daily. The space that you provide should be well suited for your child. So while one student may prefer to have a desk in their room, another child may thrive doing their work at the dining room table or in the family room. The most important part is that your child feels that they can be successful in that study space. Hi, my name is Sophia Simpson Verger and I'm the eighth grade counselor. Skyward is a system we use to record attendance, post grade, and keep track of missing assignments. It's important you contact our attendance specialist if your child will be absent. If your student needs to leave for a medical appointment or any reason, an adult must check in in the office. <sighs> Hello, my name is Sophia Simpson Verger and I'm the eighth grade counselor. Skyward is a system we use to record attendance, post grades, and keep track of missing assignments. It's important to contact our attendance specialist if your child will be absent. If your student needs to leave for an appointment or any reason, an adult must check out the student from our office. We encourage you and your student to regularly check Skyward at an agreed upon time so that you are both aware of your child's academic progress. There's a tab on Skyward where you can email your child's teachers. 
Hello, my name is Sophia Simpson Verger, and I'm the eighth grade counselor. Skyward is a system we use to record attendance, post grades, and keep track of missing assignments. It's important that you contact our attendance specialist if your child is going to be absent. If your student needs to leave early for an appointment or medical reason, an adult must check them out from our office. We encourage you to review Skyward with your child at an agreed upon time on a regular basis so you are both aware of your child's academic progress. Skyward has a few wonderful features, including a tab where, that you can use to email your child's instructional team. If you forgot your Skyward password, there's a reset button on the main page. We look forward to working with you during this transitional year. Hello and welcome to the Risden Library. I am Ellen Peterson and this is my first year as librarian at Risden. I really love finding the perfect book for students as well as finding answers to students and staff questions, even the weird ones. Exciting as of this year, our library is open for students to use and for students to borrow books. Students can visit on their own time before school, during lunch and after school as well as coming uh, at their teacher's discretion and sometimes with an entire class. Students can check out up to three books for up to three weeks at a time. We always recommend that students bring back books as soon as they finish them. There's a return bin just inside the door of the library so that they don't get lost, damaged, and so that other students can use them. Um, we also have other online resources for research plus media literacy and digital citizenship that we'll get into later this year. In addition, students can access eBooks and digital audio books through our Sora service. There are two main places to find resources and information from the RISDEN Library online. The first, more targeted towards students, is Canvas. Uh, most other middle school classes also use Canvas, so this should be familiar to students. You simply go to the Renton login page, click Instructure Canvas, wait for it to load, and then go to the RISDEN MS Library page, or course rather. In the past, there have been courses that had a year. This year's does not have a year on it. Just look for the open book icon. Once you're inside the course, you can link to all sorts of information, everything from contacting me to using Destiny, that's our library catalog, to place holds, find books that we have, and generally explore. Sora allows you to check out ebooks and digital audiobooks. Databases tells you places you can find information online and also gives passwords to these sources. Library FAQ answers your frequently asked questions, and book requests allows students and staff to share books they think we should add to our library collection. As you can see, more will be coming later this year. The other way for you to get information about our library is to simply search RISDEN Library. Straightforward, right? Once you click on that page, it has a few pieces of important information. The library catalog allows you and your families and students to look for books online and also place hold on high demand titles. It also has my contact information linked here, as well as links to databases, other research resources, uh, our annual book award programs, and more. As a family member or a student, you can feel free to use our library's web page. I hope this has been helpful. If you do have questions, feel free to reach out. You can find my email, ellen.peterson at rentonschools.us, linked on the RISDEN Library webpage. Uh, I'm also happy to answer students' questions in person in the library. Hi there, my name is Garth Ball. I teach drama and language arts here at Risden Middle School. And what I'm looking forward to most this year is introducing the students in my drama production class to film from a filmmaker's perspective. Um, I've been getting more into film myself the past year or so and directed a few short films myself. Um, so I'm interested in sharing that knowledge with students 
and seeing what creative things they come up with. Uh, stay tuned for more info about our RISDEN Film Festival toward the end of the trimester. Hi, RISDEN families. I'm Jenna Williams. I teach seventh grade Pacific Northwest history and Pacific Northwest history honors. I'm very excited to get into some history and learning some social studies skills. Hi, I'm Amanda Wolf. Hi, I'm Rachel Peach. And we are your seventh grade science teachers. Science rules. Wolf! Peach! Wolf! Peach! Wolf! Peach! Wolf! Peach! Hey everybody, I'm Steve Clark, and I teach Tech Ed here at RISDEN, or as we call it, EDC, Explore, Design, Create. We use design thinking to explore and design and create a bunch of different things in each trimester. So first trimester, I teach all about uh, connecting to cities. Second trimester, it's all about digital media. Third trimester, it's all about flight. I'm super excited to teach your students this year. Thanks. Hi, my name is Christine Olson, and I teach language arts for multilingual learners. Hi there, my name is Teresa Hundelt, and I co-teach language arts eighth grade with Miss Sawyer, seventh grade with Miss Wenzel, and then I'm also a special education teacher. I have two small group language arts classes, sixth grade and eighth grade. Hey everybody, it's Mr. Majors here. I teach art at Risden Middle School. We're here in the studio right now where we do all sorts of things. My favorite things to teach are printmaking, clay, and paint, which we'll be doing behind me soon. Can't wait to meet you. Hi, I'm Margaret Salins, and I teach seventh grade Pacific Northwest history. Hi, Risden families. My name is Kelsey Machado Kintner. I'm the seventh and eighth grade PE teacher at Risden. Um, this is my third year teaching, second year at Risden. Um, I am super excited for all the new units we're going to be doing this year, including biking, rowing, and the use of our heart rate monitors. Can't wait to see you. Hi, everybody. Mr. Ragona here. Um, I know most of you know me, but in case you don't, uh, I teach Risden bands. That includes beginning band, advanced band, intermediate band, and of course, jazz band. Um, all of those together uh, create a wonderful music learning experience um, where we learn more than just about music. We also learn about life and how to practice. Um, stay tuned for more information. I can't wait to see you guys. Hi there, my name is Keiko Wilson and I teach seventh and eighth graders family and consumer science. I'm so excited to be teaching in person and I can't wait to cook with kids this year. Hello, my name is Molly Ewing and I teach orchestra at RISDEN to students in sixth, seventh and eighth grade. We have a beginning, intermediate and advanced class so we can reach students of all different levels. I look forward to teaching your students about string instruments this year and making music together. Hi, I'm Daniel Romine. Hi, I'm Aileen Glecko. Hi, I'm Chris Allen. Hi, I'm John Sullivanoff. And we are your seventh grade math team for the 2021-2022 school year. Hi, my name is David Newton, and I teach at Risen Middle School Language Arts in seventh grade, as well as publication. Hi, I'm Ms. Wenzel. I teach seventh grade honors language arts and seventh grade co-taught language arts. Super excited for the school year. Hi, I'm Jennifer Pinkowski, special education teacher. Happy to be at RISDEN. Hi, Mr. Willis here. Along with eighth grade social studies, I teach a few lucky seventh graders advanced leadership. Hi, Timberwolf families. My name is Selena De Groot, and I am a special education teacher. I teach sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. This is my fifth year teaching, and I have been a part of the RISDEN community since they first opened. Really excited for this year and hope you guys are too.